Hi everyone, this is I4. Uh, today I will talk about Delta POC spatial register and flag for purse control. This example will based on purse and direction. So you can see the system architecture below. Uh, we will use a different type of Delta or POC connect to a uh, server drive. Uh, today's example I will not uh, demonstrate how to do the programming but just uh, explain the difference uh, between uh, different POC. So first of all you can see uh, we use the Light 2 series uh, power supply. You can see this one is a very uh, compact size uh, but this one with the 5 ampere. So for the DC24 we can connect to the uh, ZP, uh, sorry UP and to the poor height of uh, 35 and 36 pin uh, in P3 servo drive. Regarding 0 volt, we will connect to the C0 of EH or POC, also to the ZP of uh, second generation or DVP POC. And here we connect to C0 common points of AS POC. For PERS, we connect to a uh, B3-L pin uh, 41 and we link to Y0 of second generation DBP series, Y0 of uh, EH and uh, also Y0.0 of ASPOC. And 37, we, it means the uh, direction or symbol, we connect to 37 and for second generation POC, we link to Y1, EH also Y1, and S POC we connect to Y0.1. So this is the wiring for the whole system. But uh, basically here, uh, one time you can connect only one POC, but here I just this down all to let you know how to do the wiring. Okay, so here you will see uh, today's topic we will introduce uh, three uh, main type of Delta POC. First of all is a uh, SB2 or EH3 series. This one is also the high performance series POC of DBP series. Then we have a second generation series of POC. So like uh, SA2, XX2, ES2, EX2 and uh, SE series. This is a so-called uh, second generation POC and we also have the AS POC. So here you can see for uh, different series we will have a different output. So DVP uh, SV2 EH3 advanced type we have a four channel pulse output. So you can see we have the S61 to S64. And for the pulse output is basically for the even point, that means a Y0, Y2, Y4, and Y6. And you can see, even in second generation and the AS, we also follow this rule. And direction in AS is a odd value. So it will be a 0 0.1 and second generation will be Y1, Y3, and advanced type will be a Y1 to Y7. Come to a maximum output frequency. Basically, most series is a 200k hertz. But for second generation, DVP PLC, we have only 100k hertz. Come to AS PLC, uh, if you use the AS324, then this one, we have a two channel for megahertz, but rest would be a uh, 200k. Uh, but here, just want to remind you, if you use AS218, then this one will support only 3A6 200k hertz. Come to a uh, pulse, output the pulse, and you, so you can see uh, this figure. 
uh, once we on the signal, then the pulse output will stop, or we say pulse immediately. And once we of this signal, then pulse will continue output. But here we'll start with the target uh, speed. Let's say a uh, start or st start or stop frequency over here. However, this function is only available in uh, DBP POC. In ASPOC, we actually don't have this function. Uh, come to first output reverse or first di direction reverse. Actually, this one is uh, to change the direction or symbol of uh, y y one y three or even a uh, y zero one or uh, y zero three. Okay. Next would be a pulse output stop. So this function would be different with the pulse function. Pulse that means you will once the signal off, then you will continue the original command. But stop means uh, once you on this signal, then the original command will be a uh, stop. Then we can check the pulse output the status. So we have the pulse output ongoing and we can check the pulse output already done okay but here in our second generation poc we actually don't have the pulse output ongoing uh, status so just want to remind you about this and you can see for the as poc we also have the output uh, pulse output ongoing and the complete signal and one more thing I want to remind you about the stop. The behavior will be different with the, uh, I mean, A series will be different with the uh, DBP series. As you can see, we will have the pulse output or stop with the ramp or pulse output or stop immediately. So this one will based on a uh, spatial flag SM476 and uh, SM463. Uh, here we'll show you the difference. Uh, if we, sorry, if the signal SM for seventy six is off, then SM for sixty three is on, then you will ramp to stop. But if for uh, SM for seventy six is on and SM for sixty three is on, then you will stop immediately. So this is the difference between. S and the DBP series. Next would be the two-step uh, speed. So you can see the figure over here. So if you want to move the continuous um, paths, then uh, with a different speed, then you in DBP POC, you can use the M1119 uh, to enable this function. Next would be the current position. So you can see for uh, advanced uh, DBP series, you will occupy a different uh, data register. And here is for second generation, and you can also check for the S series, uh, will become a special register for 60 and uh, 61 for the first channel. And how to define the start and the stop of frequency. So you actually can see from here. Uh, this one is the uh, start and the stop uh, frequency. So we define in uh, D1340. And here you can also see that we have uh, acceleration and deceleration time. So here I just want to remind you that uh, this one we can separate or we can define in either send a data register or different data register based on the status of this uh, spatial flag. For example, uh, channel one, if the M1534 is off, then that means uh, both acceleration and deceleration will be uh, D1343. But once we turn on uh, M3, uh, sorry, M1534, then uh, the acceleration will use uh, D1343 
and deceleration will use uh, D1348. Okay, so here you can see the difference. And for DVP series, it's actually uh, use the same channel. But uh, in S series, uh, it's uh, also based on the spatial register. Okay, final part I want to uh, mention here is uh, if you consider first control is a very difficult and you have to use uh, so many spatial register or uh, spatial frag, then we also uh, provide another alternative uh, way. So you can, if you use our SPOC or DVP ES3 series or ES2 uh, can open model, then actually we will support a Delta spatial drive. This one also provide a simple motion control based on can open. So that means you can use the Delta can open uh, servo drive uh, to achieve about above uh, action. So here you can see we can also do check the position uh, complete uh, stop uh, servo on or not. We can also check the command and uh, talk uh, DI status and uh, position complete uh, setting range. So this is uh, roughly all for uh, this topic. I hope you can understand more about uh, our POC. Thank you.